Well, today is January 11th, which means our season wrapped up here uh, yesterday. Uh, it was the final day I could get out, and I went out one last time with the recurve in hand uh, for that target buck that I had been documenting on here. Um, and unfortunately, he was a no-show. Uh, but I continued to stay after him uh, until the end when I had the right conditions. Uh, I think I had, since my last video, I think I had three more encounters with him. Uh, unfortunately, two of those were after dark, though, and, and no footage. Uh, we didn't have the weather, of course, until now um, to really get him up on his feet early. And he was, he was just moving uh, just too late and, you know, of course, out of range most of the time as well. You know, I think I got limited a lot by that spot, not being able to really move around much and try to adjust to where he was coming out. And he just, he just didn't do the same thing um, two times in a row very often. So uh, at a, in a future video here coming up, I'll go and back to that spot and kind of show the setup. Uh, it's hard to do that you know, while I'm hunting it, obviously, uh, but I've gotten a lot of questions about what it looks like and how I got in and out all the time, stuff like that. So I'll, I'll kind of look back on that and just that entire quest. Um, but I did kind of have one side storyline going on um, you know, while I was hunting that recurve buck. So I mentioned I only went in there with the right conditions and for that spot it was anytime I had a south and east wind I took my recurve and hunted that buck. But on north and west winds you know I didn't want to sit out nor did I, didn't, did I want to mess that spot up. Um, so in those conditions I took my compound to a different property and had a, a pretty fun chase there. Um, and just to give a little backstory, this property is new to me this year. Uh, in fact my buddy Zach invited me to help manage it with him. Um, Zach and I have hunted uh, together in the past a decent amount and he and I share a very similar outlook on just on hunting but also just land management in general. Uh, both have a you know high level of passion for it and so this property is, is kind of a project for us to help the landowner have it a little bit more conservation uh, focused so excited for the future of that. Hopefully he and I can work on it together for a number of years uh, but this is our first year being on it, hunting it, etc. So um, trying to learn it and both of us had some good hunts out there uh, but this late season I had a lot of really good hunts. There's so many good bucks, a lot of killer footage um, and this quest is obviously I was documenting it the whole way. I just hadn't shown any of it yet but uh, these next video, few videos I'm going to put out are going to be that, that chase and uh, as you'll see this one definitely ends on a high note. Alright, it is December 28th, and as you can see, the snow is coming down pretty good right now. It's supposed to snow all afternoon, and I'm in a new spot, giving the uh, recurve buck a break. I don't have a good win for that spot tonight, so I came to a different farm. Uh, I've hunted a handful of times now, um, chasing a couple bucks, but mainly a big frame nine that I've had a couple encounters with. But I haven't hunted him in this spot yet. There's uh, some standing beans going out to a picked bean field. It looks like there's a decent amount of beans left. I haven't just got set up. I really haven't glassed this yet. I'll just be interested to see how, how well the deer move in this snow. I'm gonna have to keep the camera covered up for a good part of this hunt and try to stay warm because that northwest wind is, is cold as well. But the good part is it finally feels like late season. We've been, been waiting on some weather to really kick up the deer movement. And this is probably gonna do it, although in my experience, they typically move a little better, not during the precipitation, but after. But it's not going to stop till after dark, so I wanted to come out here and try it, and I'd love to lay eyes on this nine. This stand, really cool spot, can see a bunch, but it is a big field, so the chances of one of these deer getting in bow range may not be the best, but We'll see. Excited to see how it goes.
Well, last night's hunt was a fun one, other than the fact that those are some tough conditions for filming, uh, really tough on the the camera gear. So I apologize for audio issues and you know fogged up camera and all that type of stuff. It's just that wet snow and all the moisture and freezing. Uh, it's just hard on that equipment. So I'm trying to get everything back into working order for this afternoon's hunt. But uh, in general, the conditions were awesome to be out in the woods. Um, I did definitely did not expect to see bow shooters like that, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, but I, it did turn out like I expected from the standpoint of a lot of the deer being out of bow range. I think I only had a handful of deer that were even close to bow range. Uh, the two bucks, they might have got to you know 45, 50 yards by the end of shooting light. You know they were starting to work that way a little bit. Um, but just the way the the beans are in that spot in front of where I was uh, sitting in the stand, there's just not a lot of food right there. I think a lot of a lot of shade, so it didn't grow as well, and they may have got browsed early in the season. So I gotta figure out how I can adjust and get in bow range. I did eye a, a tree that I might be able to do a hanging hunt, so I think that's my plan for this afternoon. But um, this could be a, another fun little cat and mouse game trying to get close. Conditions are, are pretty good. There's not much wind this afternoon, so we'll see how it goes. But heck of a hunt last night and uh, going to continue to get after them.